Hi everybody and welcome to this week's edition of Property Chat from James Alexander. My name's Ken Hume. And I'm James Hume. This week, a question from a viewer. Stand by. Welcome back everybody. Well this week we've got an interesting question from a viewer that comes up time and time again. We get calls on this literally, I'd say, probably 10 a month, believe it or not. James, what's the question? The question is about extensions this week. Um, we've got a question from Janet, um, she's local to us, and she says she's thinking of adding a loft extension to her three bedroom terraced house. And she's wondering what the uplift in value might be and if she should do that or move. Um, we've discussed already mm. the main problem I think we found with this question is she didn't highlight the actual reason she needs the extra space because yeah. that's the most probably important thing in this yeah. sense to find out what your actual plans are next before actually thinking about the extension or, or moving to another property. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, you know, one of the main things we always say is when someone's saying, what exactly is the money that will be added onto my house by doing this? Quite often my response will be, who are you doing it for? Are you doing it in order to move so that you think that by making these improvements, you'll make a massive uplift in the value of your house and therefore you'll be able to sell for that much more? You may find that that difference is quite marginal, building being expensive these days and you know, other things, other considerations such as the stress you might go through. And you know, we're coming up now to the September market, aren't we James? And this is a, a common theme we find. Yeah, I think it's quite common for all the mums to be kind of off school with the kids obviously and um, they find that all the kids, when it starts to rain a bit, all the kids start to flood in. Um, and in, in that time, obviously the house fills up a bit more and mums find that they might need a bit more space or even need to move to a new property. So obviously this time of year we see this question happen a lot more yeah. um, as kids are at home a bit more and, and you find you might need that extra space. Yeah, definitely. Flooding, was that pun by the way? <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. We do, we find, we call it the mums market in September because quite often mum and dad feel a little bit more squashed, squashed in over the summer holidays and then they decide to make that move once they're back at school and they've got some um, quiet time to, to pursue it. So the answer to the question is kind of two things. If you ask what the average value, value add was, one of the difficulties with loft extending is that when you extend up, it doesn't give you any more space on the ground floor. So on the average three bedroom terrace, such as Janet is discussing, you probably get another two bedrooms and a bathroom, changing your three bedroom house into a five bedroom, two bathroom, which on paper sounds great, but you have to be careful because of course, a three bedroom loft extended is then quite limited in terms of its ground floor space and can be a bit top heavy. So then to balance that out, you also need to add a ground floor extension kitchen and all the extra expense and hassle yeah. that that takes. Otherwise you end up uh, with a bit of a strange uh, top heavy house if you're not very careful. And then the other consideration is values, average values for the road, isn't it, James? Yeah, obviously it does, it does change a lot um, from road to road. Um, we're discussing it. Uh, if you are in a certain road, you could add say 50,000 by doing a loft extension. In another area, you might be able to add even double that with 100,000. Yeah. It just, it just or varies even so more. much in that yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, it just depends what road you're on. So, you know, it's one of those things you've got to be very careful because by the time you spent this money and had all this hassle, it may be that the better advice is for you to move to an area where perhaps instead of being in a terraced house, Janet, you could move to a semi-detached house with a garage to the side, giving you far more potential for a larger extension and a bit more space to spread out in as well in the meantime. Yeah, I think that's a good point to make really. We, we discussed also the stressful um, aspect of doing a loft extension or moving. Yeah. Um, some people obviously don't like to deal with, with the actual added stress from doing a lot of work. To a Very much so, yeah. It does affect your life quite a lot obviously, so making a move might be a better move for you in that sense. Um, so yeah. it just depends the reason behind it really, as, it, as we said earlier. Really. Many people have said to me that doing extensions and building works has added years to their life with the stress and everything. I know home moving can also be stressful and, and no one can deny that, but do consider that building works can be just as much, if not more stressful sometimes. So, you know, ideally, what I would say is, I mean, statistically, it's becoming more and more common now for people to do major building projects in their house, isn't it, James? Yeah, I think we found over the last four years, um, planning applications have increased by 27%, and um, there's been a 60% surge in the applications for home extensions in London over the period. Yeah. So 60% in London over planning applications. So yeah. Obviously a lot more co common when you go a bit further in, in terms of even going down to basements or loft extensions. Indeed. Going out the back of the house. Yeah, completely. And I, you know, that's the thing, isn't it, is that more and more now we're looking to what we call improve rather than move. And uh, I think sometimes that can be bad advice. So the important thing is, if you're local thinking of moving and you're thinking, you know, which way should I go? 
give us a call before you do the work and before you spend the money, and then we can put some more accurate numbers around what you might be worth now and what you might be worth when you've actually finished your extension works. So I think that just about wraps it up for now, doesn't it, James? Yeah, I think that's all for this week. As we said um, before, give us, a, give us a couple of questions via email if you've got anything that needs answering, and we'll try and get back to that. Yeah, please do. Yeah, we, we enjoy your comments, and it's particularly interesting to see what your individual issues are and how we might be able to help. So uh, as usual, do drop us an email or just a comment in the box on YouTube, depending on what format you're watching on. But we hope you've enjoyed it this week. Keep those questions coming, and we'll keep answering them. Take care. See ya. Thank you.